Hi, welcome to another video. Do you remember that sus column R model, which was claimed to be GPT-5 and whatnot? Well, it turned out to be none other than Elon Musk's Grok model. Yes, I'm not kidding. It was the new Grok 2 model. I don't think anyone would have guessed that because there was no talk about it. Even I guessed that it was from Cohere. But I guess I was wrong too. Anyway, Grok has launched two models. One is the Grok 2 model, and the other is the Grok 2 mini model. I think the mini model was the column U model that we had also tested before. Also, one thing I have to say is that their blog posts look very good. I mean, it seems like they work hard on them. Anyway, they say that Grok 2 is a significant step forward from their previous model, Grok 1.5, featuring frontier capabilities in chat, coding, and reasoning. At the same time, they are also introducing Grok 2 Mini, a smaller but capable sibling of Grok 2. An early version of Grok 2 was tested on the LMSYS leaderboard under the name SusColumnR. At the time of this blog post, it's outperforming both Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4 Turbo. So that's pretty cool. In the LMSYS Arena score, it beats Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but comes a little below GPT-4 O and Gemini Experimental. In win rates, it also does pretty well. It almost scores above 50% against all top models. So that's also good. But now let's look at the exact benchmarks. In the GPQA benchmark, the Grok 2 model beats everyone except Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and the Grok 2 Mini comes close to Llama 3.1405B, but couldn't beat GPT 4O or Sonnet. In MMLU, Grok 2 doesn't show very good results, as it falls behind Llama 3.1405B, GPT 4O, and Claude. 3.5 Sonnet. Grok 2 Mini shows similar results in this benchmark as well. Then, in the MMLU Pro, it shows better results because it beats Llama 3.1405B and GPT 4O, although it still couldn't beat Claude 3.5 Sonnet. The Mini version shows similar results. In the Math benchmark, it shows good results, beating Claude and others and comes very close to GPT-4 O as well. Grok 2 Mini also does well in math because it beats Claude 3.5 Sonnet and comes near Llama 3.1405B. In Human Evil, it doesn't perform well because it cannot beat Llama 3.1405B, GPT-4 O, or Claude 3.5 Sonnet. The Mini model also doesn't perform well. So, it's not great in coding. MMMU shows a similar pattern to Human Evil as well. But in Math Vista, it catches up and beats every other model. The Mini model also beats every other model. So, I think it's pretty good at math, unlike me. Then in Doc VQA, which is a vision benchmark, it also shows pretty good results, which is kind of cool. So overall, it's pretty good and shows strong results in benchmarks as well. Also, the model is quite uncensored as well. Now, how can you access it? Well, the model is currently in beta, and the Grok2 model and Mini model are available for some select XPro users to try out. If you get access to the beta version, you'll also get access to Flux, as they've partnered with them as the image generator, which is also cool. They have also said that they will release an API for it in the future when it comes out of beta, which is also pretty cool. This will make it the first big uncensored model, which will be exciting to see. But obviously, I won't leave you there. Since they say that Sus Column R is the Grok 2 model, let's try it out from the LMSYS Arena and check if it really performs as well as they claim in the benchmarks. I have already tried it before in the secret model test that I did. But since the SUS model is newly added, I'll do that again. 
while for the mini model, which is supposed to be the column U model, we'll keep the same old test for it. So, I won't be testing that. I'll show you its results as well for comparison towards the end. Anyway, these are the 13 questions I'm going to try it against. So, let's get started. The first question is, what is the capital city of the country whose name ends with Lia? I'm referring to the country name here. The answer should be Canberra, or any country capital that rhymes with Aliyah. Let's send it over here and check. Okay, here's the answer, and this is obviously not correct in any sense. So, this one's a fail. The next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's see if it can answer it or not. Here's the answer, and this is correct. So, we'll keep this a pass. The next question is, John has three boxes of pencils. Each box contains 12 pencils. How many pencils does John have in total? The answer to this should be 36. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer, and this one's also correct. So, this one's a pass. The next question is, Lucy has twice as many candies as Mike. If Mike has seven candies, how many candies does Lucy have? The answer should be 14. Let's send it and check. Here's the answer, and this is correct. So, this one's also a pass. The next question is, is 3,307 a prime? The answer to this should be yes. So, let's send it over here. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, this one's also a pass. Now, the next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer to this should be two. So, let's send it over here. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, this one's also a pass. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer to this should be one. Let's send it over here. Okay, here's the answer, and this one is also correct. I'll keep this a pass. It's on a really good streak here, although it failed on the first one. Now, the next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer to this should be 73.9. Let's send it and check if it can answer this, because most models fail on this question. Okay, here's the answer, and it doesn't answer this question correctly. So, this one's a fail. Now, the next questions are different because they are coding-based. The first one here is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's see if it can do it or not. Okay, here's the code. Now let's preview it. So, this works pretty fine. I have no complaints. So, this one's a pass. The next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's see if it can do this or not. Okay, here's the code. Let's run it. So, this one also works fine. I have no complaints with this either. Now let's mark this a pass. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's see if it can do this or not. Okay. Here's the code. Let's preview it. Okay, so this does indeed look like a butterfly. So, I'll keep this a pass. The next question is, create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections. Header, banner, features, and contact us. Make sure the landing page looks sleek and modern. You can use HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's see if it can do it or not. Okay, here's the code. Let's preview this one as well. So, this looks pretty good. I don't have any complaints with it. So, let's keep this a pass. 
The next question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the code. Let's run it. So, this one also works fine. It looks pretty cool as well. Let's keep this a pass as well. Now, as you can see, this is the final chart. I have also added the Grok Mini results that we did in the previous video. And as you can see, this main Grok model is really very cool. It only failed in two questions, which is fine. I think this could be one of the best models. Let's see when their API comes out and when we can try it with custom applications. Overall, this model is pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below, or you can also consider taking up a membership on my channel through the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.